Well, howdy, folks. This is Buck Buckner, and we're outside the bunker. And quite frankly, it's freaked me out. It's freaked me out. And we're talking about my book. That's why I'm outside of my bunker. The nine rules of blank. And... But I'm not that freaked out, folks, because, as we've discussed, the waffle, which is also in the book, and it's vitally important, and quite frankly, if you're just tuning in now, you've missed a great deal. You've missed a great deal, and a lot of what you'll be hearing, really, from this point forward, for those of you who are just tuning in, will sound like shop talk. So I encourage you to go back to the previous episodes, but we'll continue on. We're on the eighth rule, and I know what you're thinking. Buck, is this the third chapter on the 1090 rule? And that's a good idea. That's an excellent idea, and I had that idea, because I had so much, quite frankly, to cut and paste from the pocket guide, Buck Buckner's pocket guide to Bigfoot, and the 1090 rule, my separate book on that. So much to cut and paste, folks. And yes, it could easily be rule number 8 through 20, but there's only nine rules, and I have other rules to think about. So the answer is excellent thought, but no. So let's move on to the eighth rule is, and I think you'll, this will be obvious as soon as I say it. You're probably thinking right now, what are Buck's, what is his eighth rule? And you're probably thinking all over the place. It could be anything. What, it could be, don't let the ants escape from your ant farm, or you name it. The list is very long, and you're probably racking your mind right now. But when I say it, it's going to be it's going to be obvious, and you'll hit your head with your hand in a very kind of soft way, and say, "Of course, that's the eighth rule." It had, and the eighth rule is get yourself a bunker and stay in your bunker. Quite frankly, I know what you're thinking, Buck. You're violating that rule. Yes, I am. But that's because I'm helping spread the word to you. I mean, if I stay in my bunker, how do I get the books to you? I could put the books in a box under a tree, but then that might be a clue that you could find my bunker. And I know what you're thinking, why not put them in away from your bunker in boxes? And it could be a self-pay system. And yes, I've tried that, but people don't pay. They don't pay what I write down on the little box. And then there's been weather damage issues. So I decided to go on a book tour and wanted to talk about this. And so the eighth rule is really get yourself a bunker and stay in the bunker. And the bunker, it is, I don't know how to describe it other than the sensation is much like a waffle. Like when you eat a warm waffle, it's just a very comforting, it can be a warm area but sometimes you want a good fan system because quite frankly the fumes can accumulate and i've had that problem in my bunker although well it's still a little bit of a problem and uh, i'm working on that it's a work in progress and you'll find your bunker will be a work in progress so i think we've discussed a great deal folks and for those of you just joining us i'm sure you're finding this overwhelming all the shop talk you're probably you probably have a dictionary in hand as we're going through this and you're wondering and that's that's phenomenal if you do and thank you so much for tuning in we're going to take a campfire break and we'll be right back i'm talking buck buckner's nine rules of blank my new book and the conversation has been fascinating and that's why i'm doing this book tour it's less about selling the book than the conversation that we're having right now that's so rewarding and enriching quite frankly and we'll be right back after this campfire break